Right guys, this is TGO today and we're playing a game called Loadout, as you can see here. It is a free game, or new free to play game on Steam. Uh, I don't know when it came out. I think it was, well it's like Friday. It was 3rd of February, which I believe was a Friday. And I like it, I've played 12 hours of it since Monday. I really like it. It's like TF2, if I haven't said that already. And what it is, is it's like it's a team based game, it's 100% online. And all you do is just kill people. And there's different game modes like Harvest, I think it's what it's called, and you've just got to get Blutonium, which is the. which is blue stuff on the floor, and you've got to chuck it in a the blender. There's Domination, where you've got to capture two points, and it sort of jumps around the map, and you've all and whoever captures it wins, and it move, who, when somebody captures it, it moves to another one. So it's pretty decent, and you've got normal straight up t, uh, TDM. So, uh, you're going to go against bots, or you can go against other humans. It's 4v4 either way. Um, you can make your own weapons. Um, I've got the Violator, which is pretty sick. It's a assault rifle, which you can test them. And I've got a Penetrator, which I'll show you quickly. Six barrels on six barrels, oh, six rockets, but it's called a hex barrel. It's pretty good. Uh, but the only problem is, is every time you add another ba uh, add another rocket, the like the damage goes down, but the fire rate goes up. So it's like if what we're gonna do is a cage. I wouldn't really recommend. It's got 51 damage, but hex barrels only got 18, but it's got six. So I, I do recommend probably something like penta barrel, because four's like not too many, but six is just not powerful enough. I don't think. But it's just effort to buy it, and it's expensive really. Um, you can randomise it, just like this, and it's pretty good. You can have like a Gatling gun or something, but. It is good, but like I've, it, it does take a while to level up and stuff. Because at the moment I am level four, it is a pain to level up. You've got a tech tree, and you've got, and it shows you all the stuff. So it's really good. Another thing that's really good is that like you can choose this different stuff, and you can, right. I think I've talked too much now about what you can do rather than actually gameplay which is what I should have done to start with but you can go against humans which is other people on the inter interwebs and you've got co-op which is the co-op versus bots where there's three other people so human other, and number three against four AI um, you create a party four people um, we will leave it thanks there we go and we got start oh we got final match so we're gonna find match if I haven't mentioned already the currency is bloops and you've got premium money, which is space bucks, which is proper Patreon money. Don't recommend it. Waste of time unless you want to customize your character, which a lot of people on here have. But I don't recommend it just because it's waste of money for me. Uh, I've, in fact, I've got better stuff to spend my money on. Um, sorry if you hear my dog. Um, so, just give me one second. Right, it is really good. It, the game can go on for however long. It actually has been going on for 14 minutes so far, but I don't know why it's been going on for that long. Um, it's really gory. As you can see, I've just uh, we can see. Um, I don't know what that is. It's oh, it's a legs, right? Um, yeah, it's probably the goriest game I've ever played, if, if I'm honest. Um. You can pick up other people's guns. You can like you can pick up other people's guns if yours aren't very good. So that is one way of getting out of the vicious circle if you buy a bad, if you make a bad weapon choice. I I, I got to say the reason I know about that vicious circle is because I was caught in it for a, for a good couple of hours. Um, it doesn't sound like much, but trust me, those hours take so long to go part go by. If you're stuck in that circle, so I do recommend something like going with a light barrel or something to start with. Um, so, because it's really fast firing, that's what I'm using, and I, I've got the spooling sort of fire, fire mode or whatever it's called. Uh, that is only because I had enough money for it, it's, it's an expensive feature, and 
It's not what I expected it to be. He's really good on the Gatling gun or Gatling barrel. I haven't got that yet either, which I'll probably buy next. But unless you level up when you get like 2,000 blutes per level, uh, it's like a bonus for leveling up or something. Or sat or you get. Because it takes actually ages to get them if you're just from dating. Um, I don't know what it is, they just like give you a couple of hundred every game, or not the most. It, it probably just encourages people to play it more. I don't know. I'm doing really badly. No way, usually I'm positive. Okay, I've got plus 2kd. Having this game, as you can see. Um, oh, yeah, you can talk to people by dancing. It's with H. You've got a lot of leveling bar at the bottom, so it, it shows you how much you've got to you level up next. I guess that's what it's going to be. The AI isn't the most, in, or it's sort of intelligent. It will go, it will try and dodge and stuff and jump around to get out of your bullets, but it, I've got to say it's probably more intelligent than I am. Get that. Oh, I need a kill. Um, when you kill someone, There'll be, there you've got a mini map on top right, and what it does is it, your teammates are, blue, are green, uh, the enemies are red, and the objectives are blue, which I think is about it. Um, people do, uh, there's quite a lot of, you do get a lot more assists than you do get kills, 9 times out of 10. Um, I don't know why they do this, but it just happens. There's like health packs around, like that like, green one over there, which I can do with. I don't think I'm make it. He doesn't like if you max health straight out, it just regens for you. It's quite an easy game to play, like my computer, which isn't, it's like sort of medium, medium to high, sort of. Um, I just know it's medium. It can run this game, at the moment it's running at like 27, 25 FPS on high with max field of view. Whereas if I put it on medium with like in, sort of like in the middle in the middle of field of view, I would probably get about 105 FPS. So it's definitely it's not an intensive game by any means. Um, so I do recommend getting it if you've got like if you, unless your computer's like got like Intel Core Atom processor or like a Celeron that's like single core. If you can actually if you get those, um, I. I don't really see a point in not getting it as it's free to play. It's 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 like six gigs to download or something. It's not a big game. It's not best for more game by any means. Um, it's real good fun. I've played like 12 hours of it already. Probably oh. up to 13. Uh, you can create your own weapons, which I think is a good one. Which like it's not just like in Call of Duty or something like that. You get to create your class. You get to create your gun, and then create your class for it to go in. So. I think it's really good in that in that aspect. Um, really gory and stuff, but like nine times out of ten, the um, nine times out of ten, the score goes up to three thousand five hundred, I think. Um, and the and the uh, controls are something that have, uh, that are just normal to. Uh, PC gaming, so it's nothing. It'll be nothing. It won't be a shock to you if you're coming from another game, if, like another game's favourite one, like Call of Duty. It's probably the same. It, it's fully on Steam. It's got full uh, wide controller support. I use an Xbox 360 controller just because it's better. Well, that's what I would use. I should say I'm using keyboard and mouse. If you can't hear it, um, just because it's better. I think. It's more buttons to allocate stuff to. See, right, uh, I'll show you how gory it is if you haven't actually gone that from, uh, before, as one well, once I just get to a safe place. Right, I'll just have a grenade on the floor, smash it, boom, disappeared, nothing, nothing left. That's exactly what I mean. Um, I'll try and get better one. Nope. The enemy has scored and the There you go, legs come off, you get like you both your legs come off, like the whole top body come off. And you're running around with or crawling around with only with no legs or no art, with no top body, so it's pretty funny. It's definitely a, a, one of the funniest games I've played. 
Um, out of 10, I'll probably get it like about 6, 7, 8, maybe. That's quite a lot of numbers. But it, I think it deserves them, and um, I would sort of like them to do a bit more to it. Like, add DLCs, like free DLCs as the game's free, and do something like that. Because I think it deserves it, as I'm. I've only been playing since like Monday, and and it's already like what, in my top five games. There you go, piece of gold there for you. Uh, yeah, it's probably in my top five games that I've got on computer at the moment. It'd probably like top, probably be like fourth or something. The enemy has four captures remaining. In some aspects, I think it goes a little bit too much. Like for some people, it might be. But like, uh, I don't know really what to think of it, I mean, like, like door, door wise. Here we go, win, if you win you get a plus 20, a 35 points or something like that, and if you lose you get plus 5 points. And at the end you can dance on the black one, with, with the beard. Yeah, it went negative that game, but it is real good fun, it doesn't really matter, because some games you might get a bit annoyed if you go negative, but usually, really I can just think of just having fun when I'm playing this, so I can't really see why I'd get annoyed playing it unless you're doing really badly. And every day, if the day you play prize, I give it away, you get a prize. Um, yep, you can get those, and I f I'm pretty sure that you always get the most, no matter which one you pick, just to make yourself feel better. Because I'm never, no matter what one I've chosen in the last six or so days I've been playing it, have I gotten what the one that's not the most? And at the end, it gives you a little summary of how many you got, how like how many blues you got. But, um, I got 1,007 now, so I'm just going to quickly quick walk through of the weapon crafting. So you get you get the violator and the penetrator, and the, another you get three slots at level one. At level eight, you get another one. Level 15 and level 30, you get another one. Uh, you can name them. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, you can choose to randomise it, which uh, costs a lot more. As you see, this one costs 10 grand. Um, yeah, uh, the my, my favourite is probably the rifle with light barrel. Uh, don't put any sights on it for you unless you get in the X-ray or the bio scanner. I like those. Probably with dampening. This is this is my opinion. Spooling if you can do it. And high capacity mag and probably Tesla, which puts electric on it as that uh, probably gives it away. And you can test it out. See if you like it. You don't even have to buy the parts to test it. Um, it looks pretty cool. Um, it's more so like a medium to close range gun. It can be used at long range. This sort of range is probably its longest effective range. It's got, 50, it's got 100 in the mag because it's a high capacity mag. Um, it takes a while because of high capacity mag, it takes a while to reload, but it does a lot of damage. Or if you're not, if you're, if you're not too keen on a light barrel because it's taking too long, either put the suppressor on it. And it does that, or you put the normal assault on it, which I don't really like. It's just not, it's just not fast enough fire rate for me. Uh, so that is pretty much most of it. Um, if this sort of becomes popular, like gets 500 views. I might be being optimistic there for our sort of the amount we usually get. I'll put out another video, or well, even if it gets 100 views, I'll put out another video. So please like it, please comment, please subscribe, um, please favourite it if you've enjoyed it. Uh, what's that? Stay tuned for more, more videos like this, tech videos, uh, Xbox One videos, because I've got one of those now. Uh, videos like that, uh, just hit the subscribe button and we'll bring you more videos so thanks for watching please like, comment, subscribe as I said before thanks for watching see you next video